YouTube channel Silhouette of Beauty. I hope you guys are blessed and doing good. Today I've got a video that isn't really um, you know the content that I normally produce on this channel but I believe that I did not get this grade you know to keep to myself but to share and help other people so I'm going to use my platform to do so and this is not a lie for my mocks I actually got a four in my December mocks but I finished with grade eight and I was really and I really wanted to make this video because when you're getting fours or when you're getting low grades it's quite discouraging and easy to believe that you can't get a top grade but I'm a living testimony that if you work hard you can get it because I did not believe that I could get an A star in English literature and I'm gonna help you guys and yeah hopefully this is helpful. So number one what you do in class is not enough. You have to go outside and use other resources. How I revised I got a book from school like you know the um, exercise book. For every single character I would have three quotes and I would analyse those quotes in depth so that when I go into the exam I know that okay I can use this quote and I know who says it or who it's about and yeah I hope that makes sense so I'd have a page for Eva Smith, I had a page for Mr Berlin, Mrs Berlin, Gerald, um, Sheila, um, the inspector. So this is where the grade 8 stuff comes in now. I used analysis from Stacey Ray. Guys she is amazing like she is incredible like she knows her stuff so I used Stacey Ray's analysis and then I used EndNotes and I used SparkNotes I think it is I'll leave it down below and I just used like any analysis that they used for for example Sheila I would write it down analyze the quote analyze the quote and revise it like that so that when I go into the exam I already have a set analysis I know which quote I'm going to use what it means how it represents that person Number two I had every possible theme so this is in the same book so I had every possible theme that could come up and I analyzed it using Stacey Ray so for example Macbeth because that's one of the books that I did I had a whole theme and analysis of guilt a whole theme and analysis of feminism masculinity power control I had a whole theme of that three quotes for each theme to like represent the theme or that talks or refers to that theme and I made sure that the three quotes link to all of them so realistically I'm remembering three quotes if that makes sense. But one thing that you have to remember is that your analysis and the way that you analyse has to be unique because if you think of it examiners like for what was it for Christmas Carol everyone would use um, solitary as an oyster and I'm not saying that you can't use that but your analysis has to stand out because the examiner is just going to be reading or like do you know what I mean like you don't want to bore the examiner you want to think of something that's creative and something unique that the examiner is like wow like what? For example, Macbeth, Lady Macbeth, she says something like black and deep desire, something like that. And everyone would say that black represents death or just something scary or evil, whatever. But I flipped it and I said how like in the 1600s or something like that, black actually represents authority. So I would just use that to incorporate the idea that, you know, Lady Macbeth is being portrayed as, you know, a powerful and a dominant figure, which contradicts what she should have been because during that time period, women had to be subordinate to men, women had to be under men. So that highlights her, you know, daring and rebellious and fear less um, nature so you just have to be unique with your analysis um, I made sure that the context like I had analyzed you know what had happened in that time period and linked it to how that character would have behaved so like I just said now about Lady Macbeth during the 1600s I think I'm correct but during the 1600s uh, women like patriarchy was very evident in society but she kind of broke that so just linking in the context of the play or the book or the novel or whatever and just incorporating that into your essay the examiner likes it it's at the top band of um, the mark scheme and yeah you should really make sure that you do that just to recap a profile for every single character with analysis from Stacey Ray or EndNotes or SparkNotes or your own analysis but that's where I got my analysis from and my ideas from and then um, for each theme and analysing as well um, each theme and linking you know unique aspects into it going deeper in your analysis so for example the black thing authority everyone's gonna say gonna say that black is associated with death go beyond go unique um, authority and then your context so like war what kind of roles were women and men expected to you know play wealth 
class, um, lower class, upper class. It's making sure you have an understanding of the background of, you know, the plays or the novels or the books. And also one thing that I forgot to mention is just knowing a little bit about the author so that you can highlight it quickly in your essay. By doing that, you are showing the examiner that you have an understanding of the book, you have an understanding of, you know, what you're doing, you know what you're doing and you will gain those higher marks. Let me know if this helps. This is just what I did and how I found um, that I got my grade eight in English literature because I went from a four to an eight and this is what I did and this is how I got my grade and this is what I know. If you're just coming onto my channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.